Well, where they're headed is the Arthur Ashe Stadium on September 22nd, Queens, New York. It'll be a special dynamite show. 17,000 tickets will be made available in 16, the stadium. 16.5. Uh, but it it could be, it could be up to nineteen. Sixteen five is what they're counting on. Nineteen is best case scenario um, if it goes like if it goes fast. And we'll see. Um, it's a beautiful place. Um, if if they can do it, um, where they make it outdoors, it's got a great look. If the weather isn't good, it's retractable dome. They can make it indoors. That's cool too. Um, so a lot of different ways that it can that they can do it. It's a real test. I mean, it's like there's no guarantees here. Um, it's not the first show in the market. It's the second show in the market, and it's a week later. Now Newark and Queens are, you know, I mean, New York's such a big market. Um, so you could say, you know, it's not New York City. It's Newark. But I mean, it's freaking. I don't know what the distance is by. Uh, you know, train or whatever, but um, I mean, I know I've been to the Prudential Center um, in Newark, um, I think once or twice, and I stayed both times in Manhattan, and I mean, I just took this little, whatever it was, uh, you know, it was like a 25-minute trip. It was not, uh, you know, by the subway. I mean, it was like a nothing trip. Um, so to me, that's the New York market. Um, obviously, in the heart of New York is, is different, but you're still running a week later in the same in the same metropolitan area. Um, the Newark show, so the Newark show had twelve thousand tickets sold um, when they had to shut it down because of the pandemic last March. And they, you know, people have asked for refunds, and people haven't asked for refunds. So they right now have nine thousand tickets for that show, and now they're going to restart. That'll be the the Wednesday before. So it's a tough deal coming back again the next week. Um, obviously, they're going to attempt to. This is these are not going to be two normal Wednesday Dynamite shows. These are both going to have to be loaded as fuck. The first, you know, um, and the thing is, is that um, you're going to have to have it known way in advance. Like they're going to have to have because it's the New York market. If it's just, you know, they, I mean, you know, it's possible that just the idea of AW coming to um the first th the first wrestling show ever at arthur ash stadium that that alone will be a big seller but that's we'll see we'll see it it's uh there's no guarantees i mean um the new japan show at the tokyo dome did do sixteen thousand five hundred people um when people thought that uh, you know Omega and Young Bucks and Cody and all them would be on the show, um, and they also had a lot of you know a, a not a lot, but they had you know not WWE level, but they had they had scalpers you know or the this, the second hand. I mean, a lot of this like as far as the first day it will be interesting to see if the secondary market you know uh buyers go because if they do if they buy like they would buy for say what Sur survivor series when it's in brooklyn um you know there will probably be um seven thousand of those fourteen fifteen thousand seats will probably be bought secondary market first day that's just how it works in the new york market if they get that kind of a thing you know for uh this show obviously the show will uh, do very well on the first day, but they may not get that because it's um, there's no rep and um, You know the it's it's not an established entity and it's not established in the market that it's going to do really big um, The secondary market was very big on AEW coming off of the all-out show in 2019 in Chicago when they had that ridiculous ticket demand so um, they bought big uh, for the dynamite shows in Washington DC Boston and Philly the first three weeks and they all sold out instantly because of that um, but after that uh, because those tickets did not move very well on the secondary market um, you really didn't have that for any of the shows afterwards so um will those people 
you know, and I don't know, you know, because obviously it was just announced um, today, and I probably won't hear about that until, I don't know. I, I mean, I know people in that market. I'll probably hear about it beforehand, so I'll probably know by July 16th on, you know, what people are saying and, and how that will, you know, how, how that's going to be bought and everything like that. But it's a big day. I think it's one of the biggest days in the company. July 16th, I think, is the day when the tickets go on sale because, um, I mean, we'll know um, a big part of it. If they get a giant advance, you know, then, then they're home free. And if they don't, um, they're, you know, they're going to have to really, uh, um, you know, really promote it. Wednesday night's not the best night for the New York market. I mean, um, when I look at the New York market for non-WWE, um, there have been a lot more failures than success. Um, you know, um, sometimes you, you get the first one, like when WCW was super hot, I believe they came to Nassau and sold out. But I also remember going to Nassau myself in front of 2,300 people um, at the Nassau Coliseum for... Um, I think it was a thunder so with hulk hogan and rick flair wrestling each other so that tells you like when you're not hot there is no guarantee of doing well in that market um first like i said first the first two weeks i mean coming a week later than you know if they it was the first show uh it'd be one thing but i mean even even like flair and steamboat first show you know that was a struggle i mean it did twelve thousand, and then they died from there um, I think the second one did like five. Um, Vern opened with 18 with Sarge and the Road Warriors and everything, and they steadily declined until they were down to five and, and, and stopped coming as well. So New York has never been a good, you know, sometimes you can get that big first one, but it has never sustained for anyone but, but Vince. So that's the, real, that's the real challenge ever. I mean, and that's like we're talking Vern at his best. We're talking that Crockett at his best. We're talking WCW when they were hot. It's never, it's, 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 they've, they've, they've been good singular houses, but not, nobody has ever sustained in that market but Vince. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.